Patrice Motsepe could be caught up in ESCOM's latest controversy. The billionaire is set to respond to claims that he'll benefit if ESCOM is unbundled. There have been claims that African Global, African Rainbow Energy and Power will score if the restructure goes ahead. Motsepe has close links to President Cyril Ramaphosa and Energy Minister Jeff Khatebe. In fact, they are his brothers in law. Reporter Timakatsu Tugwana is keeping an eye on this story and she joins us now live. Timakatsu, firstly, tell us where this media briefing is taking place and what's the CEO of this company, Patrice Motsepe, uh, is he going to say? Hi, Polly. We are here at the Sentin Convention Center in Johannesburg. We're expecting uh, the chairperson of, uh, uh, you know, African uh, Energy, uh, uh, Rainbow Energy and Power to deny uh, these claims that, uh, you know, he is going to benefit from this unbundling of ESCOM. You know that uh, post the SONA, uh, you know, uh, speech by the president where he said that ESCOM will be unbundled into three, uh, uh, you know, separate entities that will be under ESCOM holdings, namely transmission, distribution and, and generation. There have been claims to uh, social media and everywhere else, uh, people saying that, you know, Arab, that's Motsepe's uh, private energy company is really set up uh, uh, to benefit from this because well, you'd know that uh, unbundling uh, you know, goes with privatization. This is like a, a manual taken from the World Bank or IMF books in terms of you know, how privatization is done. So some are saying that there's no way that you can unbundle without privatizing. I mean the president and we saw uh, Minister Pravin Godan last week denying claims and saying listen we've spoken about unbundling but no one has said anything about about privatization, but you know, uh, ev experts are saying that there is no way that you can unbundle without privatizing. Uh, Demakato, also, there is the other element of a CEO, a former ESCOM CEO, who now heads up uh, this company that is run by Patrice Motsepe. People will still link or make a link there to say you were with. Uh, ESCOM previously, you obviously know what uh, went on at ESCOM and this sets you up perfectly it, when, as and when the independent power producers are introduced by government. In fact, they are already um, in, uh, in practice with some of the companies uh, already enjoying tenders from government. Exactly. That's the link between uh, this energy company and ESCOM. Brian Dames, you know, taking over from uh, this company when it was established in 2015. He's now heading up this company. He'll be here as well uh, to deny, I suppose, uh, these claims that are made and this link that is made uh, with him being with Arab and, you know, his former job as CEO of ESCOM. If you think about it, there's perfectly set up to benefit from it because he knows the ins and outs of ESCOM. You know, he was running the company for, uh, uh, you you know, a, a couple of years there. And, uh, you know, this company, Arab, is set up in terms of IPPs. They are, you know, big players in terms of, oh, well, are setting up to be big players in the sub-Saharan Africa in terms of, you know, uh, uh, independent power producing. They're into hydro energy. They're uh, looking at all sorts of aspects in terms of energy generation. So, you know, it's, it's going to be very difficult to sort of deny those claims because, you know, there are in-laws and, you know, people, I suppose the skepticism comes comes from the fact that, you know, all these years, uh, South Africa has been, have, have been exposed to sort of a lot of wrongdoings with ESCOM with all these debts, 420 billion rands of debt, ESCOM burning through 40 billion rand a month just to keep the lights uh, uh, on. So we'll see what they will, they, will, they will have to say about this. But I mean, I think they have their job cut out in terms of trying to deny uh, the links that people are making between Arab and, and this unbundling of ESCOM. All right, uh, Dimagato Tugwana is live for us at the, the Sentin Convention Center ahead of that uh, media briefing by uh, uh, business tycoon Patrice Motsepe, uh, who is going to respond to the uh, allegations that uh, his uh, private energy company is alleged by others uh, set to benefit. But uh, we must make it clear that these have been allegations and he is now going to respond to these particular allegations.